the thing that I want to discuss with you is uh, it's uh, basically user server interaction. And I want to talk about cookies. OK? So, um, so for um, a web server to be aware of a client's previous activity, uh, HTTP uses cookies. right? And the cookies are defined in RFC 6265. And uh, it allows a site to keep track of users. right? And most importantly, most major commercial websites use cookies to it, uh, today, right? Why? I mean, obviously, we know that it gives them an edge to present the most relevant um, information uh, to the uh, um, uh, to the client. So, so the cookie technology has four components. Number one, uh, it has a cookie header line in the HTTP response message. It has a cookie header line in the HTTP. Uh, you know, request message, and then it has a cookie file kept on the user's end system and managed by the user browser. And uh, uh, number four is uh, it has a backend database on the website. So it has four, you know, uh, important components. If I talk about a uh, cookie technology, number one, it has uh, you know uh, a cookie header line in HTTP. Uh, response message right so we have uh, a cookie header line in http uh, response and then um, we have a cookie uh, had a line in HTTP uh, request. And number three, um, we have uh, we have a cookie uh, file that is kept uh, on the user's end, uh, uh, end system. And uh, is managed by users browser. And managed by users uh, uh, browser. And then uh, we have, uh, you know, a backend. Uh, backend database. Uh, at the website. So let's see how it works, right? So we'll take an example, a scenario to, to see how uh, uh, cookies work, right? So f let's assume that we have a host here uh, or a client machine. So here we have a client and then we have uh, server here, and let's assume the server is, you know, Amazon. Okay, so here, uh, this is the timeline increasing downwards, and um, um, let me assume. Uh, that this client has already accessed uh, eBiv, you know, first, and it has been assigned, or it has a specific cookie, right, or uh, record ID that is, uh, and is, is it was given by eBay, and it is say eight seven three four. Okay, and now this client uh, visits HTM uh, Amazon by sending you know, uh, 
HTTP request message. So this is usually, this is a usual HTTP uh, request message. Okay. And when this message is, is received by the server, here the Amazon server, um, you know, creates the server. The server creates ID for the user. And let's see, the server assign ID 678 to this machine or uh, the user, right? For user, right? And uh, you know what? This is uh, this is also uh, maintained uh, in the uh, database. Okay, and uh, the uh, uh, and uh, you know a simple, uh, regular, usual HTTP response is generated by Amazon. So this is HTTP response message. Plus, it also you know sets the cookie, or it also sends this information uh, to the client browser that. Uh, Set cookie to the ID that was assigned to this client, which is one six seven eight. And what happens on the you know the client side, the browser, um, you know, update this information here. It knows that uh, uh, that Amazon has assigned it ID or cookie one six seven eight, and it was already having. A cookie of maintaining a cookie for eBay, which is eight uh, seven four three. Okay. Now, um, it again, you know, uh, I, this this browser wants to, you know, browse uh, for something on the website. So it again sends what? It again uh, sends a usual uh, HTTP request. So it, this is usual HTTP request message. Okay, but when this message is sent, it also um, it also send cookie uh, uh, information or the the identity uh, the the identity that was assigned or the ID that was assigned by the Amazon and is maintained by the browser. So this is what so the cookie is one six seven eight. Okay. Now let's assume that after a week, uh, after a week's time, uh, the machine again uh, sends a request to uh, the uh, the server Amazon, right? And again, uh, you know, uh, uh, again the cookie is this is again usual HTTP, uh, you know, request message. Okay. And uh, the cookie uh, here is one six seven eight. Now, when this request is received, right, or even when this request is received, the server performs, uh, you know, cookie specific action. So here, uh, the server will perform what cookie specific action, right? So it will use this cookie to access from the server that what specific websites were visited by the uh, by a specific client means what specific products were browsed. So that uh, next time again, when this request is generated after one week, uh, again uh, based on this, uh, you know, cookie uh, specific action. You know, it sends this information to the the you know the database and gets the uh, information about the uh, you know 
the products that were visited or the products that the client were interested in, you know, and it generates a response, right? But now this response, yes, it is a, a you know usual, it is a usual HTTP, you know, uh, response. But now this response contains what? This response contains uh, information that is based on the uh, interest of uh, the user. Okay, I mean. Uh, you know, the cookies, yes, the cookies have, uh, you know, revolutionized the internet shopping experience, right? Because I will be getting information about my previous, uh, uh, you know, uh, accesses, right? Or the previous uh, history of uh, on a certain website, right? But on the other hand, uh, the cookies are controversial. Why? Because they can also be considered as an invasion of privacy. Like, well, for example, as we have just seen that as a combination of cookie, a user will be supplied, uh, you know, a user, uh, will be, a user will be providing account information. So our website can learn about a lot um, about a user. And a website uh, can potentially sell this information to, to a third party, right? So, so this means that there are a lot of issues with the cookies as well. But anyways, at the moment, if we talk about the, uh, you know, uh, the internet commerce, uh, the shopping experience, and if we talk about the famous, uh, you know, commerce uh, platforms uh, such as Amazon, eBay, and many other websites, the most of them are managing the user interaction with the help of uh, the cookies here. Okay.